Hey everyone, it's me, John Ward, and I am back with another Dark Park Film Reviews. And today we are going to be taking a look at another box set. Uh, this is from David Sterling, or Sterling Entertainment. And we are going to be looking at the uh, Camp Blood Collection. Uh, this review is going to be uh, basically the same thing that I did before with uh, Ax the uh, Axe Grinder box set. And um, originally that box set started off with two Blu-rays. So it was part one and part two. And then he added like three, four, five, and then part six, which was Axe Grinder 666. I thought, oh, perfect. That is a great film uh, to do an update video on. And so now David's added one more movie to the Camp Blood collection, which is Camp Blood 666 Part 2, Exorcism of the Clown. And I thought, another 666. Let's do an update. Uh, the box set is full. It holds 10 movies. There's 10 movies in it. And uh, Camp Blood 666 Part 2 sits on top of it for right now. Um, so I, I think David might be making some, some new boxes so we could just kind of keep adding to it. Um, so we'll see what happens. But before we get into things, kind of like the ax grinder one, um, there was a little figure that came with it and it had two heads. It had the jester heads and, um, it had like a body to it and you pull it apart and there's, it's a USB, like a thumb drive. And David did that for the camp blood movies, which came out first and he gave, this little guy and i keep him in his little plastic thing here just like i do the axe grinder one uh they're rubber and they could get dirty so if somebody wants to look at it they could just pull it you know like this but for this i'll take it out and show him a little i think he's really cool and right here it does say uh camp blood right over there and then when you turn it it says Sterling Entertainment on the back, and then you just pull it apart, and there you got it. Like it's USB, it's thumb drive. And you put its head back on, it's the clown again. So we'll put that back in here. And then we'll set it off to the side. There we go. We'll just put them up here. Okay, so now for this review just like um, I did for the Axe Grinder one. This is not going to be a review of the films. Um, I know almost everybody who made these films, made the Camp Blood movies. I'm either friends with them or I've worked with them or I'm friendly with them on Facebook. And I just, I don't want to review them. This is just going to be a um, a look at the box itself and the Blu-rays that come with it. And then we'll get into detail on that. We'll also check out a couple other things too, like a, a, well, like three uh, DVDs. So let's start with the box set. So this is it here. There we go, that's a better angle. So that's our front, which has um, some of the clowns from each movie in it. And you can see it says Sterling Entertainment, the Camp Blood Collection. I love David's boxes. These are really sturdy. Um, so it's you can see how thick they are. I mean, th this is like a box. It's not just like a piece of paper. So these boxes are not going to get messed up. So um, that's one reason why I like promoting David's product because I am friends with him. He is a friend of mine and I have worked with him. So uh, I'm a little biased, but... I think that he makes good films. I think that he brings out uh, good merchandise and interesting merchandise. And I like to show it off. And um, I think, you know, people out, you know, out there, you guys might, might even like it too. So I think picking these things up um, is pretty cool. They're, they're cool collector's items and uh, they're nice to have. They just sit right on the shelf. So, um, so like I said, so here's the front, here's the side. Got the back, got the other side, and then the top. And it says the Camp Blood Collection. Gotta love that top. The bottom is black. So when we open it, it does say the Camp Blood Collection. 
And on a lot of these, um, David will sign it here. I think because these were the first ones he did, he wasn't signing yet. But next time I see him, I'm going to get him to sign it. So that way it matches all the other ones. Um, here is, this is what they all look like inside. Minus one. So you have uh, Camp Blood 1 and 2 in 3D. It's a double feature. And then Camp Blood 3, Camp Blood, oop, Camp Blood 4, Camp Blood 5, Camp Blood 6, Camp Blood 7. Then it goes to Camp Blood 8. Then we have Ghost of Camp Blood, which is a spinoff of Camp Blood 7. That then leads into Children of Camp Blood. And then we get a Camp Blood Kills, which is a compilation of basically, um, I believe, everything from Ghost back. Yeah. Um, and then you also get like um, x Grander 1 and uh, the Occultist 1, too, on this. So let's take these out. They're easy to get out. And then, oops. What's this? That's the first one. Okay. So now, see, so they just slide right out. And I'm going to put each one back in its box as we go. All right. So the first one on here is a, it's, Blu-ray 3D Camp Blood Grindhouse double feature. So this has Camp Blood 1 and 2 in 3D. Everything on this is 3D. It is not 2D. And this is done through a company called Ultra 3D Haven. And here's the back. And on this, it's feature length, a full length features on one 3D Blu-ray. Uh, the running time for both is 180 minutes. Um, it is color and its aspect ratio is 16.9. It's not rated. And then here's a uh, like a promo for the ultimate 3dhaven.com company. Now, with this one, it has on it... Um, it's it's interesting. There's the way that the menu is done is they're like little posters. So you get some scenes above and then you get like a little uh, um, like Blu-ray cover. And there is a promo on there um, called uh, it's like Relax Video, which is in its 3D. And it's done through the ultimate 3D Haven. So it's like a promo. And it just shows pictures of like the forest and the ocean and uh, mountains and things. And it's for relaxation. And, and then there's a series of like Blu-ray covers that go across. And that has on it um, 3D Bikini Bods Issue 1. Or I'm sorry, Bods Babes. 3D Bikini Babes Issue 1. Can't read my own writing. Um, and that's obviously the title tells you exactly what it is. It's 3D Hot Chicks and Bikinis, issue one. Um, after that, there is a grindhouse double feature. Um, it will show you the picture that says, uh, like Evil Unleashed, The Mummy, and Zombie Chronicles. Uh, but the trailer for that is just Zombie Chronicles. Um, I'm really happy I'm actually in Zombie Chronicles 2. So I think that that's pretty cool. Um, the third one is also a Grindhouse double feature. And that is um, Camp Blood 1 and 2. Uh, but it's just got the trailer for Camp Blood 1. Um, after that, there's another Grindhouse double feature. And that has Eyes of the Werewolf and Hunting Season are on that one. Um, and then the next one is a Grindhouse double feature. Um, and it says Bloody Tees and Blood Sisters. Uh, but it's the trailer uh, for just uh, Bloody Tees. So um, the, then on the menu, you see like a pair of 3D glasses or just one, one, one pair of 3D glasses. And it tells you how to set up um, like your television player for the proper 3D uh, usage of the glasses. Um, and then there's another one. There's There's like this little 
like a DVD icon that you can click on. And that goes to Family Park um, Austria uh, promo. And it's like a theme park and stuff for like little kids and families to go to. And then beyond that, it's uh, Camp Blood 1 in 3D and Camp Blood 2 in 3D. Now, um, if you don't have a 3D player, um, like television or Blu-ray player, you can always look into getting um, Camp Blood 1 and 2 on DVD. Um, I have them also as this. This is the original Camp Blood DVD. And I'm not sure if David sells these anymore, but you can most likely find them on eBay. Uh, this one, the original Camp Blood, has the film in 2D and 3D. Uh, and there's trailers and other stuff like that in it. Um, and then Camp Blood 2, also on DVD. This is only 2D. And... There's stuff like trailers on this one too. So I think it's worth having both. Got them in 3D and 2D. So then we come across David's part three. So Camp Blood 3, First Slaughter. And I do like his covers. These are special covers that he made just for the box set. And I really like them. Each one is different. It's got like the, the horror stickers on them. And I think these are all really nice. And uh, this one's directed by Mark Polonia. And it just got some good stuff on it. We've got the inside there. Got like a card with the poster on it. it says uh, uh, the Camp Blood Collection right there. And on Camp Blood 3, it's got a slideshow. And then it has um, Sterling Entertainment uh, trailers. And on this one, you get, on part three, you get uh, Camp Blood 4, Camp Blood 5, Axe Grinder 1, and The Occultist. Um, that's all on here. Um, so now, with this one, and I know this is something, and I don't think David would have a problem with me bringing it up, because I know that he's wanted to put this with the box set. But there are just problems and um but that is within the woods so i recommend picking this one up also uh this is where first slaughter is david uh within the woods is brad sykes and um this one is not included in the box set you would have to buy it separately so there are technically two part threes um and this one has on it, I have to go all the way to the end here. Uh, oh, to the end. There we go. Uh, Within the Woods has a, a director producer audio, audio commentary. Um, it's got the trailer for the film and a making of Within the Woods. The audio commentary is good and the making of is good. So um, if you want to be a completist like I am, you pick this one up too. And then you pick up the two DVDs that have Camp Blood in 2D. You're set. You're ready to go. Um, so now the next one is Camp Blood 4. And this one is directed by Dustin Ferguson. And it says down here, the King of Clowns, no, the King Clown of Death is back. And... Once again, it's got that cool art on the front there. I think David did a really good job on these. These look good and they sound good. So, but then of course, you know, there's only so much that he could do. It, it's primarily the filmmaker, you know, as far as picture, sound, and quality goes. But as far as making the DVDs and the art and all that, that's David. And he does a great job. So, um, yeah, I think it's all about the filmmaker itself when you watch the movie. So, um, so for part four, we got, um, there's behind the scenes, which is for part four and five. Uh, there is a slideshow 
And then uh, the Sterling Entertainment trailers um, are the same as the ones for part three. Um, so you get the Camp Blood 4, Camp Blood 5, Axe Grinder 1, and The Occultist. Um, and I think that's all about that one. And then part five, Camp Blood 5, Clowns Never Die. So this one is also directed by Dustin Ferguson. Four and five were made back to back. Um, it's been brought up actually by both filmmakers, you know, by David Sterling and Dustin Ferguson, um, because I even mentioned it, that they should do a Camp Blood like 4.5 and combine four and five together to make one like 90 minute movie. And I think that would be a really good Camp Blood. Um, but uh, as of right now, it's just four and five separate. So, and the... Uh, uh, on this one, it it has the uh, behind the scenes, which was the same thing with four and five on on part four, and then it's got a slideshow, and then the Sterling Entertainment trailers are the same as the other ones, uh, you know, which was the Camp Blood Four, Camp Blood Five, Axe Grinder One, and the Occultist, um, and uh, I've noticed on a lot of these that. Part one has a running time. Part three does not. Part four does not. So I don't think a lot of these have running times on them. But they're all around uh, like 70 minutes, 75 minutes. So, so that's good. Uh, the next one is uh, Camp Blood 666. Uh, King of the Clowns. And this one is directed by Ted Mooring. And uh, so you could get these through uh, Makeflix and they're ma it's made on demand. So you're not going to get some old dusty box with old dusty Blu-rays. These are made on demand. When you order it, they make it, and then they send it out to you. So that's a good way to get it because then you know they're completely fresh. They're they're brand new. They're not sitting for a year, you know. Um, and then on this one here uh, for Camp Blood uh, 666, um, oddly, it has no menu. It just goes... Uh, pretty much like there's a there's a trailer for part seven and then that goes straight into the movie for Camp Blood 666. There's no extras. You pop it in, there's like the Sterling logo and then it goes you see the trailer for part seven and then it goes into 666. So that that was a little weird, I thought for me, uh, why there was no there was like nothing on this. Not a slideshow nothing like that. So this has no extras, but that's okay. Uh, the next one is Camp Blood 7, Hot Girls Camping Watch Out. Uh, this one is also directed by Mark Colonia. Um, it is also known as It Kills, Camp Blood 7. And once again, I like that art on there. I actually really like this one. And so on this one for part seven, or It Kills, Camp Blood 7, there is director's audio commentary by Mark Lonier, which is nice. Mark always does a good audio commentary. I like it when he does audio commentaries because it's like a film school in a box. And and it's it's good for like independent filmmakers, micro budget filmmakers. Um, he gives good information on, on what he does. And then you can mimic that, you know, um, to make your own film. So his audio commentaries are always good. Uh, there is a making of Camp Blood 7, which is cool. Uh, you also get a slideshow. You get trailers. And those trailers are 
uh, revolt of the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, revolt of the empire of the apes, uh, witchcraft 14 through 16, axe grinder one, camp blood seven, and uh, things four. Now, the next one is a spinoff. Um, this is a, a spinoff to part seven, and um, it's called Ghost of Camp Blood. This is also directed by Mark Polonia. And um, it also, it's a starring Scream Queen, um, Alyssa Dowling. I like that David does this. He'll, he'll take like one film and it'll be like, oh, part seven. Hey, can, let, let's make like a spinoff to part seven. And, you know, part seven will be up here and then we'll go down here for the next one. And then we'll go this way, then that way. And then it'll be like, okay, now let's go to eight, you know, and, and he goes across. So I, I like that he does that. Um, I think it's interesting. Um, this one does have a couple different covers to it. I'm not going to show the covers because I don't want YouTube taking down my video, but let's just say uh, there's at least, I think two to three different covers. I know at least of two, and one of them is very adult. So if you have a chance of getting it, get it. I have it. It was a gift. Um. So now, oh, and on Ghosts, that has a slideshow and trailers. Um. So the trailers are Camp Blood 7, Things 4, uh, The First Claw, and Ghost of Camp Blood. The next one is Camp Blood Kills. This is this is also put together. I guess technically it's a film, so a film by Mark Polonia. Um, he edited the whole movie together. And what this is is that it's scenes from the other Camp Blood movies. So it's basically scenes from Camp Blood films, Axe Grinder One, and The Occultist. This would be good for like a party. You know, you put it on and it's got all the blood and the nudity all in one movie. And this one, it's got a slideshow, trailers, and then more from David Sterling or more from Sterling Entertainment, trailers. Um, it's got uh, Camp Blood 7. It's got Ghost of Camp Blood, Camp Blood 4, Camp Blood 3, Camp Blood 666. Camp Blood 5, and Axe Grinder. Uh, this basically covers uh, Camp Blood 3 through 7. It does show uh, Ghost of Camp Blood, um, Axe Grinder, and The Occultist. This is 90 minutes. So uh, this is the only one so far that's been 90 minutes in the collection. So it, it is a little bit longer. The next one is a Camp Blood 8 um, Revelations. And this one is directed by Dennis Devane. This one's got a different... Uh, card in there. So this one has uh, David's movies. So he's got, uh, let's see, Camp Blood 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 8, The Haunting of La Llorona. Uh This is Scavenging Outer Space, Things 5, and Blood Donors. And it's Sterling Entertainment, facebook.com slash David Sterling.167 is on there. I have all these movies. So that's cool. That's a little different. So then Camp Blood 8, um, it has trailer for, it goes like David's logo. And then the trailer is for Invasion of the Empire of the Apes. I'm a big Empire of the Apes fan. Um, and then there's the slideshow, Camp Blood 8 trailer, more from Sterling Entertainment, which are trailers. So you get the Camp Blood Kills trailer, Axe Grinder, The Occultist, um, and then Invasion of the uh, Empire of the Apes. 
The next one is follows that kind of spinoff. So the of Camp Blood Seven, and then um, Ghost of Camp Blood, and then there's Children of Camp Blood. This is also directed by Mark Polonia. I believe this cover was made by Joe Sherlock. I like that cover. They look clay, like they're like that claymation stuff. I like that. Uh, this is another one that I, you know, that I I think was just a cool idea was to just keep going down. I, I like, like I said, I like the spinoff idea. Oh, this one has a, even a different. So this one's got the box sets. So we got the Camp Blood collection, the Occultist collection, the Axe Grinder collection, the Things collection. It says, own them all. Um, at the time, the only one that I see missing here is the Empire of the Apes. And then he's had a couple more after that. Now, Children has on it um, thing a trailer for uh, Things 2. Um, that was like the Sterling logo, and then it goes into the Things 2 trailer. That's Joe Sherlock. And then that goes into uh, a slideshow, Children of, of uh, Camp Blood trailer. More from Sterling Entertainment. The trailers on that are Invasion of the Empire of the Apes, The Occultist 2, the Camp Blood Collection Blu-ray set hands-on review. That is from a YouTube channel called Serial at Midnight. There is also the Occultist Collection Review, which is also by uh, Serial at Midnight. And then there is the uh, the Axe Grinder Collection um, Arrival on Blu-ray. And that is um, also Serial at Midnight. Um, and all of those are good because he, he, he breaks down kind of like what I'm doing, uh, the box sets. Now, the last one here, this is the newest one. This I just got in, and I've worked a few times with these people. So this one, and and uh, this is why David needs to make more boxes, because this now just sits on top of the, the other box, because this is now the 11th uh, Blu-ray. And this is um, Camp Blood 666 Part 2, Exorcism of the Clown. This just came out a few weeks ago. And... Um, it is a, a Will Colossal film with uh, Julianne Prescott, uh, produced by David Sterling. And um, it's got the great George Stover in there. We got uh, Mel Heflin. I'm in this. Uh, um, I have like a little scene uh, where I'm a cult member. And I give this speech about the cult. Um, I am also in, coming up, Camp Blood 10, which is animated. Um, I play the male lead animated character in that. So it will actually be my first leading role, which is cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but this is one of those spinoffs. So this is a spinoff to Camp Blood 666. And this is part two. And that's most likely why George Stover is back in it. Um, this one. This one is on Tubi. I think a lot of these are on Tubi also. I think a lot of David's stuff is now on Tubi. But uh, Will was on Facebook saying, you know, yeah, this just came out on Tubi. So maybe like two days ago it came out on Tubi? And so we'll get a little bit more into it. But so it does list some of the special features back here. Um, commentary track extended rough cut so you get two versions of the film you kind of get like a producer's cut and a director's cut so that's cool two movies um and then you get a bonus film which is camp blood kills so you actually get three movies on this uh trailers and more so let's look so for part two the beginning trailer that's on there is for x grander 666 then when we get into the menu um, it says that you get the 
Camp Blood 666 Part 2, uh, Rough Cut, which I think Will said was like 10 minutes longer, I think. Um, you get the Camp Blood 666 Part 2 trailer. Uh, more from Sterling Entertainment trailers. And that's uh, Camp Blood 666, Axe Grinder 4 and 5, um, uh, Axe Grinder 666. Uh, Revenge of the First Wives, the Camp Blood Collection Review, that's from Serial at Midnight, the Things Collection Promo, so that's like a commercial for the Things box set, and then Bonus Feature, and that's Camp Blood Kills. Um, So that's that's a packed Blu-ray right there. So that's, that is it. So let's, um, <coughs> excuse me. So let's take a look at these things, you know, again. So here's the newest one. So you could probably, you know, get it through David, through like, uh, um, might be Kanaki. It could be Makeflix now. Um, you could probably also contact Will and, and see how to pick it up. Um, but I, I recommend it. And then, of course, we have the, the box set here. And it's... And then how all of these fit just right in there. And then if you're a completist like myself, you'll also pick up Camp Blood 1, 2D and 3D on this one, DVD. Camp Blood 2, 2D, DVD. And then also Within the Woods technically part three in a way so all right that's it i think that's that's everything oh yeah be on the lookout you know for the the little guy so that's pretty cool too all right so that's it so thanks uh you know for joining me i appreciate it um at some point i plan on doing the meat hook massacre films um i'm waiting maybe for them to do one more and then um i'll i'll look at that box set but there's other ones to look at that david brought out too so uh, there'll be other stuff to check out so all right everybody appreciate it thank you and i'll see you on the next video all right bye